Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, I'm Mary, and here on YouTube, I like to share the many projects I have going on around here with you all. And trust me, there are many. Anything from painting, decorating, gardening, cooking, cleaning, and the list goes on. Today, I'm in one of our cottages. You might recognize it. I'm in Apple Blossom. And for those of you new here, last summer we built two cottages that we rent out and there are links to Airbnb down below in the description box if you want to check them out. And I also have tons of videos from last summer where I filmed the whole process. When I came over here, my microphone was dead, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. But here in Apple Blossom, I plan to just fix up the mantel shelf. I'm not doing a whole lot in here, but in Sparrow's Nest, that's the other cottage, I actually plan to do some painting. It's bothered me for a while, the color of the mantel, and I know I'm probably gonna get some responses from some of you. Yeah, it's not quite the right color anymore, but I'll explain more on that later. Let's just get right into fixing some things up for these mantles and most of the work I'll be doing at home and then of course I'll bring it over here and kind of fix it up. So join me as I work on this fun project and enjoy. I knew I wanted some pretty florals for both of the mantles and of course this is something I can't make myself. So I went to Hobby Lobby and sorted through their florals to pick some out. And of course, I ended up not picking the week that they were on sale. I really wish I could have gotten them for, I think, half price or at least 40% off every other week, I believe. And this was not the case, and I really needed them this day, but it's okay. I think they're, you know, worth the price. They definitely have some pretty ones. I also got some other items. I'm always looking for little jars for our cottage guests. I normally put preserves like jams or jellies or apple butter or something in them along with homemade bread. And I found these cute ones and these were half off. Actually, all of their glassware was 50% off, which was awesome. This pretty white container, I love this texture. So I'm going to start out with these four containers and fill them with, you know, flowers and greenery. Uh, three of them I just got on my storage and then that fourth one you saw me get today at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to kind of feel my way through to, you know, arrange these. I might end up switching containers. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but so far I kind of like to see the grouping of these four. So over here at Sparrow's Nest, I just feel like there's too much wood in this corner. I don't know, is it because the floor is wood? And then of course this mantle. And I even feel like the color is slightly orange. And that's my worst nightmare, guys. I just think it would really brighten up the space to paint it white. And trust me, I do like stained wood too, but I think it'll be the right choice. And I think I'll probably leave the shelf wood. That way there's still a splash of wood in this corner. And I found this pretty wood carving in Lowe's that I plan to glue and nail uh, to the front of the mantle. I'm using a Do It Best brand paint and the color is powder white. The sheen is satin. I can tell already I'm gonna like this so much better. I ended up giving it two coats. It didn't take long, just two quick coats of paint and things were brightened up. And eventually, I don't think I'll get to it in this video, but eventually I do wanna distress the edges. Either that or just bring a marker, like a black paint marker over here and just fake distress the edges. I think that would really um, make it look authentic and old. But for now, I'm due to lack of time. I'm just gonna paint it, just get it white. That way I can fix it up and kind of see how it looks. So besides working on the mantles, I also wanted to change the wall up a bit in Sparrow's Nest. 
Um, so far, I've just had that poster with the wooden dolls hanging on that wall beside the mantle. And I'm looking to go with a more of a botanical, vintage, cottage, floral theme, if that makes sense. And at one point, I didn't really care for them, but now I kind of like to see some of those kind of gold, antique gold frames with maybe just a simple flower, you know, in them um, as a wall decoration. Here I'm up in my storage and I believe I have enough frames around here that I can just use what I have and then try my hand at that rub and buff. I've never done that before, but I'm gonna see how it goes. Here I'm just arranging the frames on the floor, kind of how I maybe wanna see them on the wall. I am really impressed with how this rub and buff is working and I can tell it it goes better on the black paint than the white. I also have some white frames and it definitely turned out a bit lighter on the white ones but I kind of like that look too but definitely probably prefer the black one. I'm gonna be using a lot of decor transfers in this video again. I know I've been doing a lot of that recently here in my videos, but I'm kind of obsessed with them. It's just such an easy way to get a beautiful decoration or accent into your home. And I get most of mine from Patterson Art Studio, so make sure to check that out. They have an Etsy shop where they sell the redesigned by Prima ones. And since a lot of my frames are a larger size than your eight and a half by 11, you know, what I could print out, I'll have to go with something like this to get my uh, florals in here. So I'm going to jump in here with a quick candle announcement. You guessed it, we have our spring and summer candles in stock. A lot of you have been asking about this and I'm happy to say they're finally here. They're all great smelling scents. Peach nectar is still probably a favorite of mine. Uh, you know, garden mint, sea salt, and orchid, just to name a few. We have them in pint jars, half pints, amber jars, and then we also have some teacups. We did add a new jar size, and this is just the cutest thing ever. They are four ounce amber jars. So make sure to head on over to the Etsy shop and check those out. Now back to decorating. So John kindly made a cute little wooden crate for me to use on the apple blossom mantle. And I'm so impressed with how it turned out. Um, I also plan to apply some decor transfers to it, just giving it that vintage antique look. And of course, with you know old orchard cottages, I think anything you know bee related, you know orchardy floral type things is going to go well with this. I think these little flowers are so authentic looking that I got at Hobby Lobby. I was able to create a more real looking planter of flowers by clipping the separate little sprigs off and kind of arranging them into the box. These six jars that I picked up in Hobby Lobby, I do have a plan for them. I saw on Pinterest how people sometimes put vintage photos inside jars, and I really like that look. So here I have some bird pictures. I actually got these from the Graphics Fairy, and I'll link her website down below in my description box, but I often go to her site for anything you know, vintage or uh, French country, shabby chic related. I think these are gonna look adorable in here.
I think these wooden rabbits are gonna look adorable on here. These are available on the Etsy shop. We still have some. Um, they can of course be painted, which I think they would look really cute actually if they were painted for this mantle, especially since everything is kinda wood or the same color. Um, if I would have time, I would probably just give them a coat of white paint even. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna have the stained ones here. I think they look adorable too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure had a lot of fun working in the cottages again. Hopefully I gave you some mantle decorating ideas. As always, I hope your day is going great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.